Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a V-shirt that has some black accents. To begin, I've turned my shirt inside to out, washed it, dried it, soaked it in soda ash, wrung it out, and it's barely damp. I'm going to fold my shirt in half, and I'm going to smooth out some of the wrinkles. Make sure I have my seam right down the middle here, nice and smooth. Then I'm using a straight edge, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the shoulder portion of the shirt down to where I'd like the end of my V to be. This is my initial V on my shirt, and I'm going to use this line to fan fold. But when I get up here to where my sleeves are together, I don't like how they are. One of them is a little bit lower than the other one, so I'm going to undo my fan folds and start over again, see if I can't keep those lined up a little bit better. Once I get this V fan folded, I'm just going to tie it up with some kite string. Then I'm going to fan fold the rest of the shirt and tie it up with some kite string as well. After I have my entire shirt fan folded and tied up with some kite string, I'm going to draw some more lines on this shirt. If I keep all my lines parallel to this initial line that I fan folded against, those are going to be V's on the shirt as well. So I'm going to draw lines going each direction from this initial line. I drew them on the back too because I hadn't 
planned my design yet, but I don't end up using the lines that I drew on the back of the shirt. To dye this shirt, I'm going to use some Dharma colors. I'm going to start in the middle with deep orange, and you'll see me, I keep stopping because I'm having problems with these nozzles clogging on my bottles, so I keep changing out the lids of my bottle. But in the middle, I'm putting deep orange, and on each side of that, I'm going to put fuchsia. And beside the fuchsia, I'm putting amethyst, followed by fuchsia again, deep orange again, that pattern, both directions from this center orange stripe. I'm putting quite a bit of dye on the front of this shirt. I want it to just start to come through. I don't necessarily want to totally soak the back of the shirt, but I want it to be pretty heavy coming through from the front. Then I'm going to flip my shirt over and I'm going to add some custom colors dark black on the back. I want to cover up all the white on the back of the shirt, but I don't want to oversaturate it because I don't want this black to go through to the front and overtake all the color that I've just added to the front of my shirt. After I've added the black to my shirt, I'm going to turn the shirt back over and I'm going to let it process with the side that has color on top. Alright, this is what our shirt ended up looking like. Hey, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos, would you hit that big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel? I'd sure appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great week.